What is up guys, welcome to 177 Entertainment, my name is Neff and we are back once again in Forza Motorsport 6. We'll be doing some more online lobbies, built a couple extra cars in the meantime. Uh, we've got, uh, well just one actually I think from my last one, which is my uh, Mazda MX-5 2015 edition. So, um, just going to do a couple of races on here, see how the online lobbies go. I can't actually remember if I had this built in the last video or not, but I do have a 250 GTO. Which is, uh, 288 GTO, sorry. Which has been going very nicely. Oh, doing Silverstone. No, we're not. We're doing Hockenheim. Okay, cool. Right, we're doing uh, five laps of the Hockenheim Ring short circuit in my 288 GTO, the first race of the day. Um, quite a big lobby. Hopefully, we will be either near the back or near the front. Preferably near the back, going on the first turn of this one. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can survive this one, shall we? Right, here we go, finally. He's not pulling away off the grid, neither is the he. Well, we started at the back. Way too fast into that turn. Well, as I was saying, this GT8 uh, 288 drives really nicely. Someone else having problems there? Oh, there I go off, there we go. Avoid the cars that are still on the start finish line. On the start finish straight, rather. Get off the grass. Much better through that turn this time. Do need to avoid that grass, do I? Everyone's kind of falling off the track here. And we're inside the top ten, which is good. It's generally our aim for most of these races. Someone's having an off. I'll avoid that mono. Oh, went gear, one gear too low. Ah, that curb. This really doesn't like riding the curbs, this car. Need to look it up. Yeah, this car really doesn't like the big curbs. It really unsettles it for some reason. Something to do with the spring rate or the anti stiff uh, anti roll bars maybe. Let's go and have a look at it in the tune at some point soon. Ferrari two fifty is having a bit of a moment. All Daytona, I forget what I can't really tell what one is. Got the insole, okay. Right, just going to try and get the fastest lap now. Fastest lap we can get, I don't think we're going to get fastest lap overall. And, nope. Didn't quite beat our fastest time, but never mind. We finished, and we finished inside the top ten. Right, let's see how far off we were time-wise. 109 to 107, see this is probably the, sort of 1065. That's, yeah. Probably the closest we are to the fastest people in the rooms uh, is in this car, from what I found. Right, we are in the five laps of the Prague short circuit. We are staying in the 288 GTO. Um, a lot of people dropped out on this one, so I think we're down to maybe 12, 13 runners. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm not a massive fan of this circuit. I'm not a massive fan of these sort of city ones, like Rio. Not a big fan of that one either. Um, but... GTO might do well here. I was contemplating switching out for my MX-5 that's four-wheel drive, but you never know. Oh, everyone's sideways. That's interesting. Right, got away. Everyone moved away who was in front of us as well this time, which is always good. Ow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, public lobbies! Uh, Yay! Yeah, Alright, we've gone from 5th to last. 14th, alright, cool. Who says racing in public lobbies isn't fun? Oh, there goes the GTR. Oh, that was close. We got taken out by a crashing RX-7. Uh, RS-7, sorry. Passes I-37, or I would if it wasn't... Alright. Take 
like that again. Right, Let's see if we can get through this lap without getting taken out, shall we? It's looking good so far. Well, we've made it furthest around the track without getting taken out, so... Let's have a look. See how we, uh, the, lap, the rest of the lap will unfold. I've run out of room. Definitely should have been a third through there. Let's see, we've got two more laps, see if we can get top ten. I very much doubt it, but... Uh, too fast. Ooh, quad song. Someone must have had a bad exit coming out of somewhere. Of course, two people. Oh, that kicked. That kicked then. There we go, that's better. Ah! Right, ran out of room. I was offline through the whole thing, which fucked it. Oh, not much he's fucked it though. And we still eighth on the last lap. There we go. Oh, that was a bit of a cluster, that one. And let's see what our times were this time. 104 to 101. Yeah, I mean, again, it's the closest we probably would be. Uh, MX-5 might have been a little bit better from the four-wheel drive, doesn't kick as much on the kerbs. Oh well. I need to have a look at this because I like riding the curbs, so I need to try and sort this Ferrari out. Right, four laps around Walking Glen short circuit. Um, first corner again, probably going to get completely destroyed. Um, doing the again in the 288 GTO. The uh, it actually runs again quite nicely on this track. It suits best sort of long sweeper bends, which Walking Glen's has got. Sort of when we build momentum through. Um, uh, just gonna have to try and avoid some of the bigger curbs on this track. Again, I need to have a look at why this Ferrari switches end so quickly um, on the big curbs. But I'll go into the tune um, for the next video and see if we can get that sorted. Right, here we go. Off the line cleanly. Right in the middle of the pack, so I'm gonna go straight off into the wall in a second. I can feel it. No, not yet, not yet. We're going to just tell people we're going to run out of space. Yeah, here we go. No, oh, yeah, there we go. Don't quite... Oh, oh, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Public lobbies, everyone. Public lobbies. Who doesn't love them? All right, yeah. You can see why you'd have to hit me, it's not like... Oh yeah, cool. Thank you very much for that, you fit. Fucking idiot. Right, so there we go, as I was saying. It took a little bit longer than I was thinking, but we just got destroyed an hour at the back, as per usual. Missed his breaking point. He's going to come back onto the racing line. Yep, there he is. Really worried about this Lamborghini. I have no idea what he's going to do. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Let's go. Let's go back onto the racing line after you crash, mate. Well done. Well fucking done. Actually came out of that all right. One more lap. Three places outside the top ten. Might be a lift through there just. To get myself back online but first lap we got through without actually being destroyed through this up to this part yet so we're not gaining on people I don't think it's gonna be enough but we are gaining on people keep it planted there we go no not gonna be enough unless there is a big pile up in a second Actually, I've got a clean lap as well. And it was the fastest lap. 14.5. 114.566. It's not a bad lap. Not the fastest I've ever done around here, but not a bad lap. 
And let's see how we did. 114 to 112. Two seconds off the fastest, which again, it's probably some of the, one of the closest ones that we've got. 114.5, see we were quicker than the M3 in front of us. We're quicker than quite a lot of people in front of us, to be fair. But, it is what it is. That's public lobbies, that's the joy of them. Right, and that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll be back again shortly in Forza 6. I've got some more content coming soon, more public lobbies. And we're going to be doing more of the Porsche uh, download of content series as well, which I recently picked up. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I have been Nif. This has been 177 Entertainment. Um, for more exclusive content, please do head on over to 177entertainment.com or to the, um, browse through the YouTube channel, where we've got things like the non-refundable podcast as well. But yeah, I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Nif, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.